So I've been using my Hover Air X1 for a few months now, and I keep being asked if I hired my own camera crew. Well, my beautiful people, I did not. Today, I am going to show you how I use my Hover Air X1. This right here. Hey guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Susie and this is I Run Things. And in this video, I'm going to show you how I use my self-flying camera. I love the Hover Air X1. It's really not a drone, although it may seem like it is. It's a self-flying camera and I love it. I am in awe at the quality of video this little thing right here takes, how light it is and how versatile it is. In this video, you're not gonna find a full review of all the specs. There are plenty of videos on YouTube with that information. Here, I'm going to show you the basic functionality and then we're gonna go into how I take the shots that I take. I'll give you some suggestions as to how to use it so you can make the most out of your Hover Air X1. Also, full disclosure, I pay for the camera with my own money, although I belong to their affiliate program. So if you choose to order your own Hover Air X1 using my link below, I will get a little bit of a commission. Thank you if you choose to do that. Okay, so first things first, I wanted to show you the box. It's a tiny little box. Inside the box, you'll find the instructions, the cord, a little pouch like this, which comes in really handy. And then the self-flying camera itself. And let me tell you, this is so, so, so tiny and it's designed in such a genius way. It's not heavy at all. Now I have dropped it a couple of times. One of the times I dropped it bad and these came apart and I was able to reassemble it. It's really easy. So these sort of like opened. So I just pushed it very lightly and it all came right into place and it was just functional like new. You don't need, although you can use it through your phone and the app like a regular drone, you don't need to do that and that's the way that I use it the most. You will see right here at the front all the different positions that you can shoot video and take pictures with. So to turn it on, it's really pretty self-explanatory. It's the big button right there you push it and then to change type of shot that the camera is going to take you just push right there it's really easy to use in the sense that you put it on your hand like so push the on button and then select the mode and then it just takes off off your hand in this particular instance i had it follow me i am a runner and i just started running and the self-flying camera follows you when you are ready to finish the shot when you're satisfied with the length of the video that it's taken, all you have to do is turn around, extend your hand, and then the self-flying camera will land right there. How cool is that? She came home. I love this little thing. Now that's for the basic functionality. I'm going to show you the other modes of shooting film that are going to just blow your mind. Now, one of my favorite options is zoom out. With this setting, your hover air will fly away from you and then again towards you. The parameters for height and distance can be set in the app. The orbit mode is definitely one of my favorites. It's not the most favorite, especially if you find something that's architectonically interesting or like here, I just sat on a rock and I let the hover air X1 circle around me. It's a lot of fun to use and you get really, really interesting shots. And again, if you want to change the parameters of height and distance, you can do so conveniently in the app. Another interesting way to use this shot is simply filming yourself doing something. If there's nothing interesting around you, you can turn yourself into the focal point of your personal movie. Bird Eye is, in my opinion, the least interesting of all these different modes of filming with your Hover Air X1. I think it's harder to get something interesting in the shot. It doesn't go super, super high, which is definitely a mic. And then, of course, your Hover Air X1 has flying capabilities. I love this feature. However, 
When you fly yours, there's a couple things you need to consider. Number one is your surroundings, because the Hover Air X1 is so light, it can be thrown away really far from you. Or worst, it could hit someone. You don't want that to happen, so definitely, if there's a body of water or people around you, don't fly it up too high. Again, I would be concerned about the wind picking up and sending it really far away from you. Now, this other instance, for example, there wasn't any wind, there weren't any people around me, and it's also free of trees. So I flew it really, really high, and I got beautiful views of this whole track. So just find the right spot to fly your Hover Air X1. Now I left the best for last. Drum roll. One of the beautiful features of the cell flying camera is you can connect it to an external microphone or to your phone and then it records your voice as you're using the camera. This feature comes in super handy if you want to run and talk to the camera at the same time. Another thing that you should invest in is the charger. This charger, you can put two batteries. The charger pack comes with one extra battery and the charger itself charges both batteries in, I think, 30 minutes, 35 minutes. It's pretty quick. I haven't timed it, but it's really quick. And then each of the batteries roughly lasts about 15 minutes when you're flying. So especially at the beginning, you're going to be using it quite a bit, playing around with it. So you're going to run down your battery really quickly. I suggest you get the extra battery with the charging pack again, because you're going to need them. When I go outside and I run maybe three hours, I take the camera with me. I end up using both batteries for what it's worth. Here's the comparison of the charger against the Hover Air X1 itself. And here it is against my F1 just for comparison purposes, pretty small. If you have any questions about the Hover Air X1, put them below, I'll try and answer them. I had a lot of fun filming and editing this video and I hope you had a lot of fun watching it too. Run fearless, you guys. I am like in awe at the things that I can do with it. Hi, Annie. <laughs>